I've actually gone from here all the way up here, wiggled up South America and Central America and North America up to the top and then I've gone back all the way again to the very bottom and then I've gone back all the way to the top again. And this piece has been going on for ages, uh, maybe nearly 1500 kilometers, but the rides have done amazingly well. It's quite a hard piece. It's made up of, you know, really hard stones, you know, obviously hard stones, but, you know, um, round, oh, for God's sake, ball-shaped stones, stones that look like stones, of course. What, how do you describe a stone? It's hard, and it nearly wants to make you fall off. There's lots of them. I've even slept at traffic lights, you know, I come to a set of lights and there we are and I'll just nod off like that just for a few seconds and it's like trickle charging a battery, just a few more seconds into that battery and when I wake up like that after a few seconds I feel just a little bit better, a little bit brighter and lighter and ready to go and if I have a long set of lights or a whole series of traffic lights then by the time I get to the end of the lights I'm feeling quite good. Now here we are on my travels and we meet another wonderful American nutter. Um, who are you? My name's Wingnut. Wingnut. 